Good morning everyone and welcome back again to another episode of the bike ride here in DRT. So today I'm gonna go solo and medyo suplado lang ang panahon at hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta. Pero initially, uh, my goal was to go on Pilabilon Hills and unfortunately yung uh, kaduwa ko eh, eh, medyo busy at hindi uh, ako nakasama today. But uh, for right now, uh, it's a cool weather right now. It's a uh, very... Um, ideal na magbike wag lang talagang uulan no pero i'm not sure pero hopefully uh, ganito lang like yesterday but for right now um, i just want to show you guys my new rig uh, Cementado na um, for, for the last time that uh, dumpa na dito na kami dito eh, uh, wala pang cemento dito and uh, right now talagang accessible na yung lugar yung ganyan naman yung lugar puro oh. verde and uh, just a tip guys no if uh, you wanna be close to nature so rather than going uh, going for the main road dito kayo dumaan mas okay dito um, this is the um, flowy section before ito yung talagang trail section na dinadaanan namin so makikita nyo pa yung mga daanan dito na or mga bagay na makikita nyo pag ito kayo dumaan so alright is a detour, so bypass road and uh, currently wala na yung cemento so, pinatalap lang pala tayo anyway right now um, there are certain trail forks lang no, and advice na if uh, you guys will be traveling solo I suggest na be careful or plan ahead uh, dahil especially baka maligaw kayo so gaya nyan may mga certain uh, spots na pwede before, bukas, or right now, sa na pero good thing there are apps na pwede natin gamitin to plan our tour no? and right now, I'm struggling with the with the muddy puddles kilometers and uh, we'll have about another 20 kilometers and then sa Tila Pilon and uh, right now here in my front is the Malangaan Caves so there uh, makailang rin tayo nakamunta dyan pero right now um, detour muna tayo since nandito tayo sa kabilang uh, daan pero it's really a good place then to uh, to uh, to go to um Caves, so pwede maligo, of course, and parking fee lang yung kailangan bayaran. Hindi ko lang sure kung ano nang kailangan bayaran yan. Pero, dito lang ako sa, sa mga spots ng mga uh, farmers, I think. So, ginawa nila to to, I believe, have their rest um, place whenever uh, they need to after a long day of uh, farming dito sa plain fields ng BRT. So, yeah. Um, it's a very uh, serene and uh, quiet place unlike pag uh, road trip or sa road or long ride 
um, medyo mausok and uh, napakadaming crowd and uh, you know um, dito mga sasakyan so if uh, you guys again want to enjoy and be close to nature compared to traveling on the main road this is the best route to go so i-share ko yung uh, route details sa uh, siguro in the description below follow nilang ang Strava then again it's better to have uh, someone uh, with you <laughs> Uh, pag uh, tutuklasin nyo yung mga lugar na yun since kanina medyo nagkakas na yun so tara, pahinga lang ako sandali and then siguro after nito um, tuloy tayo after a few minutes Maisingit ko lang isa sa mga sikat na stopovers at safe parking spots ng anggat going to DRT ay ang Pugpog Bikers Highlands Nampas lamang ito ng ilang metro mula sa Welcome to Angat Art ng Norzaga Rai Boundary. Sa ganda ng view na overlooking ang Angat River, talaga namang nakakawala ng pagod after a long tiring ride while having breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Kasama mo si Mrs. Tito pang pukonsuelo. <laughs> Alright, so this is the end of the detour. A uh, few meters away, we're going to main road. If you can see the two tower of uh, cement machines, it's very close to the truth. So if you look at the Akle, there are two kambalahon there. Don't start the diluvian. We're uh, going to the uh, Tilapilon Hills. So let's go, let's go. terino kasi dinadaanan pala ng mga enduro dito and uh, mga motocross so right now medyo um, hybrid tayo combination ng uh, bike and hike so ba hiking ang mangyayari sa atin <laughs> all right so samahan niyo ako and then uh, quick lang siguro tayo sa taas and then uh, let's check kung ano yung mga makikita natin doon and uh, of course tingnan natin kung ano yung uh, ganda ng uh, taas pag nagpunta kayo doon and of course, ito, isa ito sa mga pinagmamalaki nila na lugar kasi ito daw yung uh, kumbaga parang chocolate hills ng uh, Bulacan which uh, is also known as the Boholacan <laughs> sabi nila so, tara, tayo sa taas and then uh, let's see kung ano yung uh, makikita natin doon
So it's my uh, fourth time uh, coming in here and napakarami na pinagbago compared to sa last time na nandun na kami in the prior pandemic and uh, group ride yun ang yan yung time na yun. And uh, in terms of terrain, mas worse pa nung time na yun I'd say kasi talagang basa yung daan. Uh, right now, uh, malakit lang siya. Pero yun nga, ang dami ng daan dito and mapapansin nyo dun sa mga dinahanan natin, marami ng uh, mga nagsulubutang ng campsite sa Pilipilid. Well, probably because uh, may mga may-ari noon uh, before kasi isa lang talaga yung puntahan kasi ito lang yung Tila Pilones. Pero ngayon, napakadami na. Manahaw, um, landingan, ang dami pang ito sa bubay. So, hindi ko na alam kung ano pero you just need to be specific whenever you guys want to go here. Um, pero, the most common Thank you so much again for tuning in on another episode of your bike ride here in uh, DRT. So uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our next ride. Cheers!